What do it do? It's Young Honey. This time, complete with a whole soundboard. All right, so I'm feeling pretty tired. I don't think this is gonna be a very long session. It might be though. But uh, biggest thing I wanna do is clear out this region. I just want it done. I also wanna pitch some movie concepts to you guys. So, you know, <laughs> let's get into this bad boy. We're gonna start with the Larry Parker missions. I can't fucking stand Larry Parker. We we have fun here. We got we we got to deal with Larry Parker. Then we got to help out Willis. Cause I don't like those two missions, but this last one we gotta do before we start with Faith's region. The Testy Festy. Well, I like that one a whole lot. That is, they only have these missions in the game just to set up the Lost on Mars DLC, which I enjoyed. I own a hundred percent of it. I do got footage of that. I, I have footage of all the Far Cry games, dog. I, don't know, I'm I can't keep doing it. Oh. Alright, he's free. Shit. But yeah, I've uh, I've played through it. It's, it's a solid DLC. I thought. I thought the weapon was, like, weapon choices were a little bit dry. You know, I couldn't really rock with that too much. But, overall, I liked it. I feel more attached to Nick Rye than ever. You know the fucking vibes. Let's talk later. We don't have time to talk. I'm not spending a lot of time on this. I absolutely refuse to spend a lot of time on this. I can't help it. I get so scared every time I feel wind on my neck or the back of my head, because I'm used to having long hair. So that whole part of my head is just covered up most of the time. And it ain't no more. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Pro tip. Pro tip. You don't have to put in any effort into this mission. You just gotta glide in nice and easy. Mistakes were made. I have a better idea though. And God willing, it spawns me in the middle of the air again. Big old dang old. It's so convenient. Are they really bad guys here? I 
can't believe we gotta do this to one of them. Scale it? <coughs> after all the work I just did. Bro, after all that work. Dios mio. That started me. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I got the job on me. I'm gonna need to throw on Do Not Disturb whenever I record with the soundboard. I agree, I agree. That, that is the right idea. Bang, I just set up my MIDI controller with a sample pad. And that's how we're doing it. Nice and old school, right? Really. Just how podcast podcasting gods intended. Where you at, man? One professional, Larry. Please do not continue to waste my time. things first. Rest in peace, Uncle Phil. That guy is now bait. In a second, I'm gonna pick some moves. Just cause, you know, I, I'm no James Cameron. I'm no, I'm no, I'm no Tarantino, but I got some ideas. Thank y'all, might appreciate that. Guy is shit for me to get. That's not what I want. Wait.
Okay. So listen. I get that the Batman series has gone very gritty before. But I feel like it's important to recognize that Batman is fucking insane. What normal person has that access to wealth and chooses to do that? <coughs> you know? Like, why in God's name? Would any, any, do that? Right? Like, he goes out, he beats up bad guys. I, I, I maybe get that. But he gets his ass beat all the time, though. So, <coughs> I was thinking, where does he draw the line? A lot of content creators have brought up the fact that, you know, that man probably was supposed to drug dealer for an AIDS sort of deal. Where, where he, he, he doesn't give a fuck he, he's a Batman, you know? Like, he is famously the Batman. He requests that uh, everyone calls him that, the made up name that he has. Right? So I'm just saying, I think that there should be a Batman movie where it's entirely gritty and we are meant to take Batman seriously. But I just want it to be him beating up on low level criminals. Just like, like, like no serious way. No Joker, no Toothpaste, no, no Razor Guru, no, none of that. Oh man, I gotta beat up these tokens. It's unfortunate. Okay. I wanna see, like, I wanna see Batman going around beating up the dudes who are flipping, flipping a half ounce of weed to help pay for grad school. What? <laughs> I'll get some student loans covered. <laughs> you feel me? Like, I wanna see just a bunch of teenagers loitering around, maybe off a few hits of acid, just talking about the nice day that they had. And I just want them to get fucked up by Batman. Cause winners don't do drugs. You know? <laughs> feel me? Like, you think Batman would tolerate that shit? Fuck no. I really think that a realistic depiction of Batman starts with showing him beating the fuck out of some teenagers, smoking weed and doing, doing some acid. I, think, I, I really think that's the only logical direction to take the series in, to be honest with you. Otherwise, like, what the fuck are we doing here? But yeah, that, that's, that, that's, you know, just something that I've been thinking about quite a bit recently. Like, y'all wouldn't get it. All right, so. I do got another, I do got another idea if that's not good enough for you. Right? Please, please don't make me. I think that stories about kids being bullied. That's powerful. That's really powerful. And I think that I think that someone could make an incredible drama 
about a kid who is being bullied beyond belief. You know, just completely neglected by friends and family. Zero friends. His his teachers hate him. Right? This is this is just the reality of being a student sometimes. No one no one likes him. The kid can't figure out why the way. No no one fucking no one likes him. It's not a good way to die. Either way. No one likes this kid. All right, but, but, after years of being pushed around, he decides to become an oceanographer because he fucking loves dolphins. And with it, he finds that he loves capturing footage of dolphins. And after finding a bunch of super intelligent dolphins and witnessing a love story, he went on to make one of the most inspiring movies of all time, Titanic. That little kid was James Cameron. Y'all think about that for a minute. You know, I think that is fairly inspiring. None of it's true. I think it's real fucking inspiring though. They get it. They get it. Let me reset recording. Reset. Player old. Give me the samples. Well done. Oh, and we'll be thrilled. Speaking of thrill, it's done. The dynamic laser capacitor is complete. Fun is about to begin. Uh, don't get me wrong, this has been great. I'm um, just ready to go north to the transformer station and wait I'm for my instructions. You can get this done real quick. But here, I want y'all to consider that James Cameron biopic, but not, none of it's actually true. It's just a super sad story that we make up, and then at the very end of it, it turns out that it's James Cameron. And everyone was wrong for bullying him. Have you saved your lives? You're not in conflict anymore, buddy. I wish I could have been there when you overheard one of the Stricklands saying they needed to talk to the people at the lookout tower about you know what. Knowing the Stricklands, you know what equals weapons. Thank you for the notification. Show me that on the map, please. Is it in John's region? Because if there's more to do in this region, I'm going to be upset. God. I... We'll do that on the way to Willis. And we'll just use that as a fast travel point. We're, we're just about done with Mr. Parker. This dude's mad fucking ungrateful for everything that I do for him. Are you guys still chewing on that James Cameron idea? Because, like, I, I really got a lot of faith in that one. I think it's a super good plan, to be honest with you. Like, I'm pretty proud of that one. I think, I think it has a very original twist. And I, I just, I, I think that Hollywood could use that kind of originality. Now, the hard part would be getting James Cameron to agree to it, but I think that he appreciates artistic integrity and creativity enough to know that that's the way. Like, I, I don't think it would be a problem. In fact, I think he would welcome it. Don't worry. Uh, what happened with my invention failing earlier so, was a statistical anomaly. Uh, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think that I would have to worry about that so much. You know? Alright, let's see this guy out. 
Also, fun fact that y'all will, you'll see. This teases the Stranger Things shit in Far Cry 6. Uh, are you ready? I was, until I had to repair the generators. Because of you, Anne and I are gonna save the galaxy. I, I know what you're thinking. I too wish that you could come along, but it's too dangerous. Damn. And as for me, and, and me alone, and, and this mission cannot be jeopardized. Uh, don't feel left out. Uh, be proud of what you achieved. You served your your, your perfect. It's never gonna let me hear the end of this. Okay, well, you're not in conflict anymore, Larry. Stand up. I, I, I wish I could take I'm you with me. Oh, you spoil me. Button on the generator and send me off. All right. So look, if you stand right next to Larry, he also gets sucked away. This gun is fun, it's just, it, it's not, it's not really in my playstyle to be honest. But yeah, big fan of getting Larry off this planet. What the fuck, are you carrying someone on the side of the That's cold as fuck, dog. Hope County's resident artiste is Nadine Abercrombie. She lives in her granddad's basement. She's real upset that the cult stole her most We're prized possessions. We're not doing possessions. the Nadine adventures. I wonder what they took. I really doubt that we're going to be doing the Nadine adventures. It's not that she's not a lovely lady. It's not. The comic books are so spread apart. All right, let me hit you with this next pitch idea, okay? Yeah, it's about some kid. And he's having some difficulties. I don't really care what they are. But we focus on those throughout like maybe a week of his life. You see, and we, we, we just see this kid going through a very tumultuous period of like slapstick adventures where he just gets like hit in the nuts a lot because that, that's always fucking hilarious. <laughs> that was the wrong button, but it works. Um, because like, you know, that shit's always fun. But, uh, like you see all that. And eventually you see quite a few different items of his ruined in an accident at school. Right? Like, what if, like, I, 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 I don't know, man. Let's say, let's say the school. Ah, oh, the school went under lockdown because someone with the urine was on fire. Some shit like that, right? And he loses access to all of his fucking clothing. But here's the thing winter is gone. So, this kid feels. So absolutely fucked. And the movie ends with him trying to explain to his principal why he almost froze in school. Right? Because he chose to wear shorts on that day. Where it was 30 some degrees outside. Now, this isn't as strong as the other two ideas. The main idea is that this kid just does not have shorts that have long pants available by the end. It's more of a slow burn, but I still think it's viable. I think that that kind of comedy is still under tapped. It's a tapped market, but, but not tapped enough. You know? Maybe have Adam Sandler starring it. That would not be good. I'm gonna be real fucking mad if those dudes are still, like, hey, more enemies spawn there, like, for the Willis mission. We almost got blown up doing that. Okay. That'd 
Easy. All right, I think uh, I think you guys got my best uh, movie ideas out here. It's gone. All right, we go to Willis now. There are still some other things to talk about, though. I just have to find my list. It's somewhere off to the side. I'm moving towards Nadine. Okay. Where there it is. Absolutely like top of my list. I'm gonna preface this. Where what are they doing? What did Willis do to them? I need to brief you on what's really going on here. I know who you are, deputy, and I know what you're I'm doing. Gonna preface this by saying, is Special Agent Willis Huntley. By the it probably got cut off, bro. I'm a Facebook guy. I'm not a Twitter guy. Me this is a sharing you know? economy now. And before we help you, you... Like, I've never been... I've never been big on it. I like, I like making fun of boomers on Facebook. Like, I literally just log in to fuck around a little bit. I was on vacation visiting all like, the like, states. I, I would go like local news feed and go into their super controversial posts. And I'm just the big man himself. Most radical boomers. Just saying that gets me semi erect. Because like you look at my profile, you look at who I am, you would assume could make him look bad my beliefs are following my affairs. I tracked it here to a member of Joseph's happy family. So you log into the false sense of security and go and fuck. I'm going to lure out our man. And you're going to follow him back to his hiding when he gets the tape back. Something like communism. Do this for your country and your country will solve your little cult problem for you. That shit's just funny to me. I know it's not funny in the big picture, but that shit's funny to me. Gives me something to do while I'm on the toilet, sort of thing. So I've You're always here. been a big Facebook guy because of just you know how fucking Don't easy it is to argue with people on there. And I get that it's similar for Twitter, sort of deal, and maybe even more so now. But that shit's falling apart, brother. <laughs> like, first of all, first of all, like Elon Musk is not. A very good executive. Like, there, there is a reason why he made a singular decision at PayPal and was immediately kicked out. You know, like like that doesn't happen if you're competent. You feel me? So that's just like one thing. Like, like I, I didn't see that going well. Sort of deal, and I, I personally like. It's hard to respect Elon Musk. I don't. I don't think that he's built really anything. I mean, you look at his history and a lot of his failures. There are so many more than successes, to the point that you have to ask yourself: Has this guy done anything other than purchase a company that was already successful and just kind of marketed a little Attention, bit better? Comrade. The bed has been wet. Repeat. You feel me? The bed has been wet. So, I'm kind of satisfied about that. But the full meltdown, like the implication of Twitter just not being a viable place for... Not so much. I, I got distracted by the bad it's, it's not so much that I care about using the platform of Twitter. It's that so many people use it for marketing, so many people use it for advertising, so many people use it just to communicate. The implications of it falling off are so huge. And that's fucking nuts to me. I don't see how Elon shit the bed that badly this first week. How the fuck you lay off 50% of your staff? 
That's just taking it. Go, deputy. Follow him. Like, it, it, it can't be, it can't, it can't feel good. It can't feel good to be in that situation if you're him right now, I don't think. I think there's something to collect in Boyd's house, but I'm not really doing the collectibles on this run. Also, I always end up getting mad distracted. All right, let our man get into the chopper. Remember, we still need to find where he's hiding the tape. Any idiot with a stick can pull off wet works. Espionage is what separates us from the animals. Oh, bro, my knee cracked. I didn't want to make that trade. And I got got by the collectible thing. I don't even need that shit. Being the president of this country is not a clean job. Okay, <laughs> you know, United States politics fucking sucks. There's no, there's the skill magazine. There's the VHS tape. That's what we want to see. I mean, uh, yeah, we'll finish up this mission and then I'm gonna go upgrade a few parts. I've got bigger fish to fry, and this little bearded uprising got bad news us. for you. Turns out there's no help coming. You enjoy that, buddy. To accept what he did to us would be communism, and that's not what Willis would have wanted. That's also why we're not going to help him back up. Oh shit, we're really going to have this skill tree like pulling them off. That's exciting. <clears throat> I'm dang old points of cracking. Now it's time to go to that testy festy. Get this bread. Actually, let me spend these two.
down. Okay. Got a couple gummies I want to eat. I need to find the right sounds to put on my soundboard, but I think that one's a keeper. I think I'm keeping that one. Oh man. This one's the haunted house. I don't like this one. This is spooky. Reset. But yeah. So, you know, I, I, I just think, I think that Twitter's fallen in the last few months. Everything that's been going on with that. It's just fucking nuts to me. How do you let that happen? How do you fumble the bag that badly? Like that, that's just stupidity. Also, supposedly the world's richest man arguing with Stephen King about a blue check. Are you fucking kidding me? Like, are you actually fucking kidding me? That shit's just goofy. Cool. Uh, Alright, let's talk, buddy. My buddy said he saw someone out near the saloon gathering plants and shit. I was apparently going on about the key to fighting the cult was changing mm. your bio. I'm familiar with this man. I am unfortunately. still need to do the testy fest. That's what we're gonna do right now. One moment. So with Twitter died, other people are looking for, so, for social media sources to get their news. And that's not, that's not a good idea because they turn into TikTok. Hi there, sir. Did you know someone's trying to shoot a guy <laughs> me out here? I saw some fucking... You are not going to learn a subject. <laughs> and, <laughs> and all of its nuances. From a fucking TikTok. Decent starting point, maybe. Just not where you're actually gonna learn. Don't don't fall into that trap. Like like that shit made me so mad to me. It just blew my fucking mind that dudes are really out there going to TikTok for their news, which, like, I can appreciate. You don't want to read, like, an actual newspaper, like, who fucking does? But at the same time, like, god damn, bro. Put in some fucking effort. Like, Jesus. 
Like, I personally, I don't like a lot of modern news networks. I think that they really, really do put in a lot of opinion. I put in a lot of opinion, because this is a YouTube channel. We're playing video games. I'm not supposed to be presenting the news. You feel me? So I don't like the news for that reason. I really, really, really just like, I can't fuck with it like that. But, But one of the newscasters I did like was Shepard Smith, and they just canceled his show. That shit gets me upset, because Shepard Smith would rarely vocalize his opinions. He would just kind of deliver the news and have on good guests. It's kind of does some balls. But yo, like, that was disappointing to me, man. I don't give a fuck about newscasters like that. But I gave a fuck back, and I was like, whoa. Just because, like, I feel like if you're gonna go and you're not gonna go gather your news for yourself, you're not gonna go look at primary sources and go try and find out what's happening based off what's trending, what you can find on the Sorry, please. I didn't mean to kick you through there. I'll skip through this. Right? Like, I could use you. Much obliged. We gotta live I can definitely appreciate all that. Bring me the testy, festy supplies. It's just that. Damn, I lost my train of thought after I kicked Casey. Damn. <laughs> what was I saying? I'm just gonna backtrack to the last point that I actually cared about. Oh wait, shit. Okay. Yeah, if you're not going to be getting any news from primary sources sort of deal, you want to find a news anchor. You don't want a fucking conspiracy theorist. You don't want Alex Jones. You don't want, you don't want Tucker Carlson. You don't want people like Rachel Maddow. You don't want people like Anderson Cooper. I appreciate Anderson Cooper's work like at times. Don't get me wrong. I think he does great work on personal interest stories. But like, the real heroes at news networks are not the anchors anymore. They're, they're people like the poll teams. And that's, it's disappointing to see actual newscasters losing their shows. Bro, talk to me. All right, I'll go shoot him. One of these damn vultures gobbled up the key to my barn. Shoot down the vultures. One of them snagged the key to the barn. But yeah, like, please actually, like, go and vet your resources. Make sure that the people that you're listening to aren't fucking insane or peddling bullshit. I know that it's hard, but... Just taking 10, 20 minutes to learn how to properly research, go look at a few YouTube videos, go look up uh, the college websites, how to do it. That sort of deal. Like, it's not hard to figure out how to vet resources for yourself. Avoid narratives that are popular in the media on the left or the right wing. And just kind of get to the information you need. Like, I feel like that's such an important skill to have in today's day and age. Please don't, like, don't be going online. Please, like, you can go online. You can go on, like, TikTok, Instagram, tip, Twitter, Facebook. You feel me? Make sure you're getting news from a quality source. Resetting the party? Resetted it? Like, that shit is so important to me, and I feel like, I feel like that's been missing. Like, I'm not on, I'm not on, like, Randy Marsh integrity shit, or, like, our news is missing integrity. Because United States news never had integrity. Like, a lot of news services are using their actual TV channel outlets, along with their social media and condensed video formats to mislead people. And that just, it makes me so fucking mad. 
because we're at a time where we could use stuff like internet and social media to promote this course, like, you would not fucking do it. Like, if people were willing to actually take time to educate themselves about issues, learn how our taxes work and how they're supposed to work versus how they actually are working right now. Like, I swear, we would solve all of it, God, it's so fucking tricky. Like, there is no bed. Is that cool? And, that, it, it's just hard to but at the same time, it is also kind of nice to see places like Twitter kind of get the shot. As a result, our viewership is not really doing well, making poor decisions. But it's nice to see that there is a level of societal recompense, I guess, is what I would say. Because that's how we hold each other accountable. Alright, Casey. There's gotta be something else. But yeah, I figured while I was rambling about Twitter, I feel like that is just because I feel it's important. Like, I, uh, at some point, I may actually, like, make a video about how to vet resources, to sort of deal, and how to, like, find good news sources. I just don't have that out yet. But, like, these things do have a deep impact on how we live our lives, how we communicate with each other. And it is beyond annoying to see the integrity of that impacted. Just because some folks want to make money off of being loud and abrasive. There's a way to do loud and abrasive with the nuance. We're gonna fortify this town. So I think I got something figured out that'll make this festival a huge success. I know what I gotta do. Alright, alright, all right, listen. I need bull testicles from you. Oh man. It always hurts to kill bulls like this. But it has to happen. This town needs balls. Brain blast. One of the things that really does bother me about conspiracy theorists is the fact that in their minds, they are completely infallible. You feel me? And so they'll base their arguments on shit like I don't know. Like, they'll base their arguments on various different kinds of logic that don't adhere to the logic of reality. Like, if you take the sovereign citizenship movement, where there are really people out here who believe that every person in the United States is a slave to the government. Some people do believe that. It. And so, with that kind of, that logic that they follow is found within a constitutional clause, like chattel clause, where we don't own our names or some bullshit like that. Right, like, like we're not talking, we're not talking actual logic, but we're talking a level of faulty logic that does follow for the conspiracy theorists. And that's problematic, because that's blatantly just... Take an advantage of stupid fucking people. Like, if that shit doesn't get you angry, I don't know what does. This is one thing, it's one thing to finesse a bunch of wealthy investors out of a shitload of money. That's...
reset. I, I just, I'm gonna fuck that up with editing. I already know it. I wanna make sure that it's mitigated to those like four to five seconds. But yeah, if you're if you're just brazenly making like taking money from the stupid and capitalizing on individuals' ability not to formulate their own opinions, and you trick them into thinking that they're doing the right thing or following some elevated line of thinking, you're a jackass. You're a jackass, and I hate you. And you don't you don't you don't deserve respect and get small bitches and no love. Like, similarly, people like that. Conservation trailer. There's this lone doctor that's staying there. You really need to go and make sure she's okay. Like similar to that, these people are able to build audiences of stupid people. And unfortunately, the United States has gotten that education to the point where they're very more uneducated and influenceable people than there ever have been. Like, we have more people getting educated than ever have been, but we're also seeing a ridiculous, unprecedented population boom, like, globally, for the most part. I know that birth rates declined during COVID, which, like, long-term, low-key kind of helpful, but, like, not really... But like, we're really seeing a lack of resources for an abundance of people. Whether that lack of resources is perceived or actually there, like whatever, whatever you do. I don't care about what you think of you side. Like, you got groups of people who are being swindled in an already bad situation. And you're getting them angry. And that pushes them over the edge into violence. And we've seen that it pushes them over the edge into violence. We've seen that it pushes people into aggression. We've seen that cults can get formed super fucking easily in today's world. We see it all the time. And so if you're if you're someone that's out there just peddling baseless conspiracy theories and you don't have an understanding about what the fuck you're talking about. Eat shit. It's the fucking worst. Bottom feeder. You, you, you should end up owing almost a billion dollars. They get wind of Chad. They'll be sure to kill him. You have to go and make sure that doesn't happen. Let's have this testy festy. I think this year's Testy Festy will go down as the greatest ever. Can't wait to pop one of them juicy balls into my mouth, Peter we put in that much effort to organize this testy festy. What the fuck happened there? Had to take our time. One of them shots just bang and went burr. But yeah, the, like, these conspiracy theories have an impact on innocent people's lives. Like, personally, I don't like Nancy Pelosi's policies. I don't think she's far left enough. And I think where she is left-wing, it's for the wrong reasons. I, uh, 
I'm just not big on her. People kidnapped her fucking husband? Or were charged with kidnapping her fucking husband? And assaulting him? Like, excuse? No, that's not how you go about resolving political differences. You, you put an effort to remove her from office. You put forward a viable candidate. That's why... That's why Democrats bother me when they're like, give us more money, give these same candidates, these same struggling candidates that we put forward for the last 20, 30 years, more money so that we can win. Like, nah, dog, just put forward a viable candidate. Like, put forward someone that doesn't need an extensive stream of cash. Like find someone that ha that has that community support. It's not it's not impossible. Ah, There's this girl out there, Skylar, amazing angler. She's looking for some help to catch the admiral. She should track her down if you got the chance. Shit has like long term, like these things also have an impact on our elections. Has an impact on greater day-to-day -day life and meaning where you can believe what you want and respect others' beliefs all you want as much as you want. There are correct policy Thanks, solutions. And we're, we don't pursue those solutions in a lot of cases because we actively like to hold ourselves back as a nation like the United States. That also blows my mind. It's part, partly like conspiracy theorists and people like that, but at the same time, it's also, it, it's like historic how often we do that. Like it's death taxes and the United States population shooting itself in the foot. Let's change up our outfit too. Who said you could take off that tomato? Alright, we're gonna go we're gonna go to the jail. Yeah, we're not we're not talking to Nadine. I know it seems cold, but I'm not I'm not gathering all them comic books. I just can't do it. But yeah, I think this is the last mission we'll do for right now. But, uh, yeah, I wanted to air out a few things that I was feeling with uh, conspiracy theories with that whole Twitter situation. Wanted to hit some movies. And we're gonna have a little bit of fun here. That's what we're trying to do. Let me reset my recording. Reset it. Dude. Only the applause and the guy falling sound effects are really worth keeping. Let me know. I'm unsure. <laughs> I'm out here, very good. Very good. Merger with his mind. If there's anyone nearby, hurry. I don't know how much longer we have. Virgil, you got plenty of time. Hermano. Saved our 
I distinctly remember there being a truck problem around here. Up, cover me. Okay. It's gotta be proximity explosives. This truck isn't reaching me, dude. I can assure you the truck is not breaching this location if this game isn't on some bullshit. Oh man, we're talking about a Ubisoft game here. Yeah. I, I believe I've made adequate preparations for the fuel truck. Should be satisfying. Gotta wonder where all my other proximity explosives are. a sign of you're not wearing your button no i'm not wearing it i need a casualty report we're, we're cougars we're really not look i'm wearing my button the sheriff is wearing his button this person i'm sorry who is this this is one of my deputies i thought you said your deputies were taken well this one wasn't I've been giving eden's gate a hell of a time from what yes, i sir. hear that's so well, I hope you plan on pitching in. No room for freeloaders. <laughs> oh, Tracy's all right when she gets to know you. She's right about the work, though. There's plenty to be done around here. Just ask around. Good to have you back, Rook. We're wearing the loincloth. He just put that directly into our skin. Virgin, absolute douche. Get the fuck up. Like the marshal. 
mustache is Bliss. so long. It makes you forget. It makes you feel free. You just want to stay there forever. But it isn't real. None of it. If Virgil and Tracy hadn't found me, I'd still be out there, swimming in a sea of bliss. Baseball goes Prisoner nice. in my own head. Those two saved my life. These cougars, they're good people, but they're hanging on by a thread. We gotta help them, Rook. No one else will. One last thing. We had a doctor, well, a veterinarian, but he's doing his best. The guy went missing a couple hours ago. Don't know why, don't know how. Keep an eye out for him, would you? I will. We were the consumer made out. I told the sheriff. There's no telling how long this will take to resolve. Smart work at the jail, deputy. I see you searching. Oh, lost. Mm. When I was younger, I spent years. Got a job that needs doing. I don't want to have to listen to the faith dialogue again. I'll go check out the misery first. That's what we'll do here. You set? This is gonna be the last mission I do. I just don't wanna deal with the faith dialogue again. The intro dialogue is always so long. I wasn't planning on doing this last little bit, but while I'm venting about things that bothered me this week, why the fuck are streaming sites more than cable? Did we not, was that not the goal of the streaming sites? Is that not what we were fucking trying to do? Like, how does that make sense? Like, how does any of that make sense? Why is it that to watch everything, it would cost me more than just buying basic cable? Oh, I just got HBO Max? Life changer. I now finally feel like part of my family when we talk about TV. Absolutely unreal. But cause like I'm not I'm not gonna fucking buy HBO Max for myself. I'm not cultured like that. But my parents, they get it with their internet package. So when I went home to visit I figured out I also get it. I, don't know. I find that shit to be massively exciting. But it begs the question like, why is all that shit so expensive?
Like, how, how do they keep justifying that? Alright, I think I got everyone that can call reinforcements. Yo. But yeah, like I, I just I don't fucking understand. Here to be it's beautiful. Like I don't get it, you know? Like I shouldn't have to have HBO Max, Hulu, Disney Plus, Netflix, like I, I don't have all of these. But like I shouldn't have to have like that fucking Tubi, like literally everything. Just to keep up with dialogue. Fuck. I feel bad if they survive this. Oh no. Okay. I was hoping I can make that straight jump, but apparently not. It's okay. You are free to go. I'm pretty sure that there's the switch in here. Maybe it's right above. What? Wait. How the fuck I get you out? Not so useless. Ah, right. Yeah. No, it's not in here. What the fuck? Don't let faith get inside your brain. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Sorry, boss. Thank you, Barrett. All right, with that, I think uh, I think I'm about done yet. Peace, I appreciate it.